Hi and welcome to this digital SLR tutorial. I'm using a Nikon 5300 but this will be generic to all digital SLRs. Uh, so we're going to be talking about shutter speed and how to uh, control shutter speed so you can freeze action and how you can blur action. So you can use different settings on the camera. So S is for shutter speed and will allow you to control this but I'm going to show you through program mode. So I'm going to put it onto P for program. It's going to turn the camera over. If I hold down the shutter release button halfway, it will bring up an exposure reading. Now, turning the wheel on this camera, you'll find that it will control both the shutter speed and the aperture. So we're focusing on the shutter speed on the left-hand side here, so the camera is changing aperture for us. Uh, and if we go down to the left, you will find that once we get dot dot, we're in seconds, so 1.6 seconds, 2 seconds, and so on. So to blur a movement, you would need to use a slower shutter speed and in order to freeze movements we need to scroll to the right and that will get faster and faster okay we're still in the stage of blurring here so we need to get quicker and quicker and quicker until we're at that point where it can freeze frame action so we want to be at about 1 250th per second to ensure we freeze action uh, and in this case the lighting is not strong enough so it won't let me move up any further than 1 15th so it's still going to blur now the way around this is to use ISO so you need to work out where ISO is in your camera but in this case I'm going to press I on this camera I've got ISO here, so just click in OK and I'm going to increase the speed of the ISO so I'm going to experiment with taking it to say about 1000 okay, and then I'm going to half press the shutter again to give us a reading and you'll notice it's now we're letting us move up to 1 60th okay, and 1 80th, okay, so it's getting better and better um, that's still not good enough for freezing action so I'm still going to go back to I and I'm going to increase, increase it some more. So back to the ISO, I'm going to move it up to about 3200. Now this will depend obviously what the situation is like for you, uh, but here now with this level of lighting, which is actually pretty low, um, we can now move up to 1 200th of a second, and we're very close to being able to get to 1 250th there, so it's hovering between the two. So that will allow us to freeze action. So now at this point, if we want to slow it right down, so I'm scrolling back to the left, uh, it should get to a point where it'll actually start to struggle to go much lower. Okay, so it's only taking us to one fifth of a second now, and that's the same problem but in reverse. So I'm going to press I, I'm going to go back to ISO, and I'm going to take it back down. So I'm taking it all the way down, I'm going to take it to 100 this time. Oops, there we go, 100, and you'll see now it's allowing us to go much lower. So we have four seconds. Okay, so that's how you control um, your shutter speed, very simple. Uh, so it's a case of you know, moving the wheel, but actually once you get stuck, using ISO to benefit you as well. Alright, good luck, thank you.